morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. It's actually the afternoon and I have not been vlogging this morning because I have basically got up very very early, got to the airport, been on a flight, driven, not me personally but in, I've been in a car for about an hour and a half and so I guess I should start the vlog here and tell you where I am. So I have come away for four days with Cali Yoga for one of their retreats in a beautiful part of Spain. So we flew to Malaga, then we drove for an hour and a half to the retreat. It's run by a lovely couple who I've had the pleasure of meeting today. I've never been on a yoga retreat. To be honest, I don't think I've ever really properly done yoga. So this should be very, very interesting. Obviously, I thought I would vlog the whole experience. I don't know whether I'm gonna be doing it in one big whole vlog or in lots of little vlogs of separate days. Lots of you guys seem to like the latter. So yeah, let me know what you prefer for future trips, but probably for this trip, I will do separate days. But anyway, I've just checked into my little room or my little home for the duration of the stay. So I am staying in one of their little kind of huts overlooking the pool. I want to say it looks kind of like a shed slash log cabin but it's a lot more luxurious than that. So the main building is actually a house. It used to be an old like family house and they have converted it. It's a beautiful place. So we're having all of our meals here we're having yoga here we're doing meditation we've got so much planned for this couple of days so i have given you a quick room tour i've just done my makeup which is why i didn't appear in the room tour but i'm staying in this beautiful little white log cabin and it's so so cozy i've got a hot water bottle down there which they fill up in the evening and I've just got all changed for our first yoga session. So I'm going to try and bring you along with me for that. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film. And I also probably will look like a complete novice because I am one. So we'll see if we film that. But we've just had some lunch. We had pumpkin soup. And we're going to do yoga. And then we've got dinner. And we've just got so much planned for this trip. So I'm really, really excited to bring you along with me. As you can tell, my voice is still very husky and not the good kind for some reason i have lost my voice it's been like that for the last three vlogs so i do apologize i think i've got like laryngitis or something because i don't feel unwell i just don't have a voice and i just woke up with it and it was like this so who knows but anyway i'm gonna head off to yoga because i think i'm the last one and i don't want to be late so i have checked in to my beautiful little lodge or it's basically like a little pastel blue hut just right by the pool and it's so so pretty in here it's really lovely and warm all kind of wooden wooden ceilings all painted a gorgeous white color and then we have a little bathroom in here which is really cute with a little marble worktop as well really really pretty and it's so warm in here one thing i absolutely love that they give you it's all in the little details, I feel. One thing I absolutely love is they give you a blanket and a hot water bottle. And apparently in the evenings, they ask you all if you'd like your hot water bottle filled up. I always sleep with a hot water bottle at home. And I really miss it when I come away. No one ever seems to know what a hot water bottle is. So this is going to be such a treat tonight. I'm going to get all snuggly in that bed. I'm really excited to sleep because I am feeling a little bit ill, as you can hear and this just looks so so nice and cozy and they give you a little water jug a little torch in case it gets a bit too dark a little set of earplugs as well although i think seeing as this is my view i don't think there'll be an awful lot of noise to worry about and then over here another thing i love is they give you a little kind of pack of incense I absolutely love incense I love it when they give it to you in hotels but it's quite a rare thing could smell it when we came into the reception as well it's gorgeous and we've got some fresh flowers <laughs> Yeah. 
from dinner now, back from yoga. I've got my hot water bottle in tow and I'm gonna get all snuggly in bed. I'm gonna do a bit of work before bed, but I thought I would round today's vlog off here. We've had such a lovely day, really, really relaxing yoga session for about an hour and a half actually and I am so looking forward to just collapsing in this cozy bed. Tomorrow we've got quite a jam-packed agenda, so obviously I'll be vlogging all of it. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to be here. I've never been on anything like this before, and it's so relaxing. Everyone just kind of gathers in the sitting room. They tell you to treat it like your home. For the time that you're here, you can go in, make yourself a cup of tea. They've got blankets. They really just think of every tiny detail. And I feel like that's what makes places stand out as being really special. So, so far I am really, really impressed. Tomorrow morning we've got a hike, which should be interesting because I'm not the fittest person in the world but it should be really nice and relaxing and grounding. I do find that when I'm at home just doing kind of the general mundane things that you do in life, you don't connect with nature. And I know that sounds really kind of like hippified, but you don't connect with nature in perhaps the way that you should. And it's incredibly grounding to do so. So it's just really good for your mental health. It's really good for your overall well-being. I find in summer, when I'm out in the park with friends, we're having a picnic and we kind of take our shoes off and we're feeling the grass underneath our feet. It's so like calming, which is a really weird thing to say, I know, but yes, I'm very much looking forward to it. I've got some honey and lemon tea next to my bed, hopefully to sort my throat out because I'm so sick of sounding horse all the time i'm not really sure what's gone on there and i will see you again tomorrow morning for lots more yoga retreat adventures good morning guys and welcome to day two of the yoga retreat so i'm in a bit of a rush this morning because i'm really late i've dried my hair got up early and we are heading out on a hike we have had a lovely breakfast spread of avocado on quinoa toast my voice is hopefully coming back i think it sounds better than it did yesterday anyway but i actually have a reflexology appointment today reflexology reflexology appointment so i'm hoping that maybe they can find something because i know they often tap into different parts of the body that affect others so i'm intrigued to try that later on but we've got a couple of hours this morning hiking so hopefully i'll be able to vlog some of the hike on the way i think we're going to do most of it in um silence to kind of take in your surroundings and really connect with what we're doing. So that is the plan for today and I'm excited to take you along with me. about marriage relationships and everybody likes this one isn't it <laughs> about how, <laughs> how to have a good balanced uh, natural and unfair relationship with your partner marriage particularly if you like to put it that way and he said in a marriage to be in that uh, healthy way you need to drink uh, from the same uh, uh, bottle but in two different glasses uh, the bread the same you cut the bread you eat from the same loaf but two different pieces and also you'll be like in the temple that's got this uh, uh, the, 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 the pillars of the temple they are exactly separate so holding the whole temple isn't it in the in 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 right place same for the marriage to function well the whole marriage you have to be in the right place or being like uh, the trees which is it says the, the trees that they are together without shadowing each other. And that's what we tend to do. We shadow our partners and they say, oh darling, you know, you better you do, you do this and you darling, you better do that and so on and so forth. Trying to change with our best intention more often, and you know, to make it like, oh, it would be better if you are this way. But really, who is anybody to say to anyone how it's going to be? And these trees reminds me to a, 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 a healthy relationship in a, in a marriage, if you like to say. They are supporting each other and they are magnificent. They are without shadowing, they're just walking around each other, letting be, isn't it? 
So that's what inspires me to um, yeah. when, when I come in here to feel like we need to, you know, sometimes, you know, question the way we visualize uh, relationships because we are very conditioned by the way relationships should be. But if we allow, again, coming from the from the heart, the relationship will have a, a more accepting, loving, natural um, way of, uh, of being. Um, trying to change it up. To the top of this mountain, the air up here is so pure. It takes a while to get used to actually because you feel a bit woozy at the beginning because in London obviously you don't get this kind of air. So it's a really nice little hike even if it has been up hill a massive incline which is definitely testing my non-existent fitness skills but it's very very nice and we kept stopping off at little points and kind of having little reflective moments which is really nice keeps getting really hot and then really chilly again so i've got my big coat on to keep me warm but we've just come to the most amazing point i don't know whether you'll be able to see if the camera picks it up just the most incredible view of mountains behind me and we've also come to a little building which i am yet to discover because i haven't joined the group yet what it actually is All these days, am I, am I? Does this lunch look? So I've got polenta, this is an avocado dip, some chili tomato sauce, and then some vegetables over there. This is probably the healthiest my lunch has ever looked, to be honest, but it looks very, very nice. It smells amazing. So I've just had my treatment. We got back from the walk and then we had some lunch, which was delicious. We had like polenta, hummus, no, we didn't have hummus actually, it was avocado. Um, tomatoes we had such a feast and it's such delicious like wholesome good healthy food but it's so so delicious so we had that and I've just finished my treatment as I said so I had the reflexology which I've never had before I came into the treatment with absolutely no expectations and I was very very impressed it was so relaxing to the point that I fell asleep but I also feel really kind of refreshed and my stomach was a little bit bad before I had the treatment done. And when we finished, she said that she could feel tension in my lower abdomen. Abdomen? Abdomen. Abdomen. She said she could feel pressure and tension in kind of the lower part of that area. And that was, I hadn't told her anything about my IBS or anything like that and um, she picked up on that just from massaging my feet. Anyway, since I've had it done, I feel like that whole kind of tummy ache and um, kind of slightly poorly feeling tummy usually which comes on when I start to feel the IBS symptoms that has just completely dissipated and I don't know whether it's going to last I don't know if it was a direct result of the reflexology but I know when I sat down in that chair and started having it done my stomach was like making noises and feeling a bit kind of irritated and grumbly and that's just completely gone now so she did say that she recommended for me to kind of continue reflexology treatments at home and find someone local to me so I'm definitely definitely going to look into that and she also said she felt tension in my neck as well and I always have problems with my neck and my right shoulder which could be it, but it could also be the fact that I have a really sore throat at the moment. So I found that really, really interesting. So I've got a bit of free time now before we have yoga and then dinner later. So I think I'm going to meet up with some of the girls. Not that we have to. I can't even see.
just really getting out of struggling but I really enjoyed it and I feel beautiful definitely worth getting outside getting connected with nature but also obviously doing some physical exercise as well so yeah I'm just gonna have a relaxing few hours I've uploaded already of the hike in the mountains which was gorgeous we did have a bit of a treacherous ride back down because it's like these windy roads down the mountain into kind of the more of the valley bit where we're staying and there was no kind of bollards or you know fence or anything it was just sheer cliff so it was quite interesting but no i'm definitely having a really really lovely time super relaxing i feel like everyone should do a yoga retreat especially if you're someone like me that suffers with anxiety and ibs and tummy troubles and sometimes just generally feeling quite under the weather then i just think it's a really nice chance to detox from it all to have some really delicious healthy food and just to kind of reset so anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I've been talking to you for five minutes, which I have a tendency to do. But anyway, I will update you later when we do something more exciting than me sitting in my cute little room on this sweet little bed. So I shall see you in a bit. <laughs> The lighting is so good. I am very aware that I haven't actually vlogged properly today and the reason for that is that it's been quite an emotional roller coaster of a day. It's been a very interesting one, very eye-opening. We started the day off with yoga, I mean I think I filmed some little clips of everything so obviously I will play those out if I haven't already. We started the day off with yoga, then we had lovely breakfast and then after breakfast we went to something called i think it was called in the itinerary woo woo therapy but officially it's known as sound healing or sound therapy and i am pretty cynical when it comes to things like that i mean i've never experienced anything like that before i've never attended anything um i've had therapy like cbt and counseling in the past but nothing on that scale and we entered the room it would be very hard to like describe the atmosphere and what happened but i will try my best so we entered the room and there was the um, sound healer there a lovely lady called kim and we were all sat in a kind of crescent shape on our mats and we noticed when we went in that there was lots of boxes of tissues sat out in front of us which confused a lot of us because we were like why are there tissues there um you know not really understanding what the next few hours was going to kind of unearth 
and so we basically went around the circle and spoke to Kim and said hi my name's Scarlett I'm from wherever and um kind of sharing an issue whether it would be a mental one emotional one or a physical one and Kim would basically tune into your energy and say something to the group um about what you were feeling it was very very interesting what she picked up on with me is something that nobody could know um i feel like it's not something that i speak about very often and it was just so interesting to have that experience it was very emotional at one point we were all crying we were all experiencing a roller coaster of emotions but then they basically use these massive bowls and they create sounds and you harness different energies in your chakra i think it's called it was basically an experience like no other and i feel like everybody should do it it was so incredibly empowering um i just i can't describe it really and i'm i'm not the kind of person that normally um would kind of be interested in something like that but i feel like it just completely put me out of my comfort zone completely changed my outlook and i was just so impressed i feel like so much lighter I definitely cried a lot which i'm sure you can see because i've got a puffy face and i feel like we all connected as a group because we were all going through this roller coaster of emotions together so I definitely feel like if you're going through something or even if you're not even if you're just feeling a little bit anxious or not quite right or you've got tummy problems like I do um then I definitely think it'd be worth trying something like that because I was just so pleasantly surprised I was amazed actually it was quite a surreal experience and I feel very emotionally drained but very good um so yeah, we've had an interesting day and we had a lovely dinner just now. We've had like a raw chocolate cake, we had a raw chocolate workshop earlier. We have also done some more yoga. I've just had the loveliest time here. It's a time that I obviously knew that it would be kind of interesting and I knew that it would be something different but I didn't realise how much I'd enjoy something like this. And I'm actually considering booking myself on for a kind of retreat next year as a birthday treat or christmas treat to myself because i just think it's something that you all we we all need to do we're so caught up in everyday life that we forget to connect with ourselves again and like somebody rightly said today you can't give yourself to other people without loving yourself and understanding yourself and connecting yourself first because otherwise you're not really of use to anyone because you are so you're so focused on everybody else and not yourself and at the end of the day you are a priority so it was just really interesting i think we forget sometimes to really love ourselves i know it sounds so cringy but we do we're, we're so connected digitally to everything we're so switched on we're so put so much pressure on ourselves we lose that kind of spiritual mental overall well-being so i am just blown away by this week and it hasn't been sponsored as a full disclaimer we have as bloggers been sent on this wonderful trip complimentary so we've been hosted by carly yoga for the stay but you know me, I would always be honest with you guys and I've just been blown away. I really, really have and I genuinely would spend my own money coming here. So I'm going to be doing a full blog post on it. I'm actually going to end the vlog here because tomorrow we're just doing a travelling day and I feel like it's not really going to be very interesting for you guys, me filming and being on an easy jet plane. Um, and I also kind of just want to chill out so I'm not going to be vlogging tomorrow but you're not going to be missing anything I just thought I'd round up the vlog and fill you in now because I've had such an incredible experience I know I keep saying that but I just think if you're at a place in your life where you're at a crossroads or you're just not feeling not feeling a hundred percent there's something missing or you're you're holding on to something a set of emotions anything basically i just feel like this really helps you to realign your your values yourself 
and just set you on a really positive track which is where I feel I am now so I'm definitely going to go home feeling like not a new person but a reignited scarlet and ready for the future so yeah I hope this vlog's been really interesting and that you've enjoyed seeing something slightly different I've never been to a yoga retreat before this isn't my usual kind of content but obviously I do blog about well-being and IBS and digestive health and I do feel like this has helped me immensely with that I mean I struggle or I used to struggle with being in a room in a quiet place where I didn't feel I could escape from because obviously my IBS plays up so much sometimes that I feel so embarrassed I you know have to run out or whatever that I, I started getting panic attacks in rooms where it wasn't busy or there was a lot of noise or or something like that so I feel like this has kind of helped me with that because we've been we've been sat in silence for hours at a time just meditating and that was just like a bizarre concept to me before this trip and yeah it's just it's pretty pretty amazing I'm sorry I've, I've just realized I've got tentacles sticking out of my head so I'm sorry about that you've just had to watch me for about half an hour with with this hairdo but anyway I'm going to end the vlog here thank you so much for watching as I've said before I hope you really enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you've ever been on a yoga retreat if you fancy one what your kind of preconceptions about them are I'd be really really interested to know so thank you for watching and I will see you again very very soon.